If aliens were to land on my bed tomorrow and demand to know what human life is really like, I would show them every episode of our next guest show, How To with John Wilson. Competitors tried to suck up as much as they could in a given amount of time. The first round was canister vacuums. And the judges were really meticulous in how they graded each performance. Next to compete were the upright vacuums, which were all very evenly matched. It was an exhilarating sight. You can watch all three seasons of How To with John Wilson on Max now. Please welcome John Wilson. You're John dressed as a John, huh? Yeah. Is that um, why, or is that a coincidence? No, I'm just trying to s spread awareness uh, <laughs> that I'm uh, of the show. A toilet now. Yeah. Yeah, because the first episode of the show is about public toilets. Yeah. And it's fascinating. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have these later. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Guillermo, would you like a Tootsie Roll? Yeah, sure, throw one hey, Oh, really? All right, there yeah. you go. Enjoy. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, those aren't Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you walk around outside wearing this, someone will use it. Yeah, I, I, I invite it. And it's not, it, yeah, it won't be a, a kink. I would let it, it would be fine. Each time you're here, I try uh, my best to explain your show. And, uh, when I try to explain your show to people in uh, regular situations, I usually say, just watch the show. But yeah. it's uh, it's a documentary, basically, yeah. fair to say? Basically, yeah. You know, there, there's one episode about public restrooms and uh, the kind of lack thereof in, in New York City. So I spend a lot of time uh, going into different kinds of restrooms. And then, um, you know, I go elsewhere. And you go elsewhere. And not only you go elsewhere, you it seems like you start out with, with a theme, and then the theme sometimes changes as you meet people and they take you down a different path. Yeah, like the, the clip you just saw of the, the vacuum cleaner uh, convention, that started as an episode called How to Watch the Game that was about sports. <laughs> and, and yeah, and that's just kind of where things naturally Concluded. You tapped into this vacuum cleaner community, and I would imagine that you are very, very happy when you arrive at a vacuum cleaning competition. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel more at home there than I do here. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you, you don't feel like you're at home right I mean, now? I feel Just... fine. You're always, uh, you're always very nice. We, um, let's see, uh, you had the, we saw the vacuum cleaner collectors. We saw, um, you've had uh, bodybuilders on the show. Mm. You had a woman who dates serial killers, yes. a chronic masturbator, yeah. uh, Buffalo Bills fans, very weird, weird, <laughs> weird individuals in yeah. general. Uh, yeah, and, and they're all like, uh, yeah, they all have really great stories. I don't know, I love them. Did you ever think about introducing the masturbator to the vacuum cleaner guys? Um, I figured that there, there some forums might cross over online. But no, I, I never, you know, I, I never did a crossover episode or a, a reunion special or anything. One of the more, I guess, normal people on the show was um, a guy who had the theme from The Godfather as his car yeah. horn. Yeah, but yeah. It seemed a little off key to me, kind of. It doesn't. Yeah, we we were in Coney Island, and he he showed me that. Yeah, he in, installed the Godfather theme, and it, you know, it was, you know, it's a little fast, but I I really fell in love with it, so. I actually, I, I found who made it, and I installed the Godfather horn in my own 1989 Volvo. And, um, but my car, like, it hasn't been working as well since I put it in. Really? Yeah, and it, it broke down a few times. <laughs> you think it's because of the horn? Yeah, I think it's got something to do with the, the, with the battery or something like that. And but when, I, what, I don't regret it. In what situations will you unleash the horn? Uh, it actually has a, an amazing practical use. What? Uh, when I was, uh, I was picking someone up from the airport, and they didn't know how far away I was in line, so I turned on the Godfather theme horn, and they knew exactly how far away I was. 
Yeah. It has one practical application. Yeah, <laughs> at, yeah at the airport. You film, you have all this incredible footage of New York, New York City, um, and, and also just you capture people in their natural environments. And then there's also a lot of trash. I mean, just like a huge mm -hmm. amount. Like, I don't think, like, even Oscar the Grouch, I think, would be, like, startled at the amount of trash that you have on this show. Yeah, and... Yeah, the, the the city is constantly delivering little gifts. I'll I'll see an arrangement of trash that just feels like this. It looks like a beautiful sculpture, but it it doesn't seem like it could naturally have been placed there like a normal trash would. So I feel like people are are putting things together uh, to to bait me specifically into, for you. Yeah, like there was I I saw a I saw uh, there was a toilet on <laughs> this on the street and in the tank of the toilet was a briefcase and I opened up the briefcase and inside of that briefcase was a smaller briefcase <laughs> and inside of that smaller, I'm not kidding, in, inside of that smaller briefcase was a uh, Big Mac. <laughs> and it felt warm. <laughs> which <laughs> well, which that is had what to was... Be even more chilling. That had to be somebody messing with you or just McDonald's is packaging their, like, Happy Meals yeah. in a very <laughs> unusual way nowadays. Yeah, some, <laughs> uh, one episode is, like, uh, becomes, like, uh, a thriller and your car blows up at the end. I don't want to spoil it, but um, your car does blow, blow up <laughs> at the end. I did want to ask about that because there's so much, the show is very gentle, I think, throughout the whole way, and then suddenly your car just blows up. Yeah, I mean, it was always a dream to... <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, when I'm a kid, when I was a kid, I wanted to blow up... I always wanted to blow up a car. Did you? In a movie, yeah. And, yeah. you know, because I, I, was, I was on this, this trip with this, this man, Bruce Beveridge, who, who wrote a, a book about a Titanic conspiracy theory that the Titanic didn't actually sink. Um, you know, jury's still out. Yeah, and yeah. I, um, and that's his real name, Bruce Beveridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really just rolled the dice and when I, you know, because his name was just was so amazing. Yeah. And um, <laughs> anyway, so we, we met up and we, we spent the whole weekend in, in Tennessee together just, you know, playing with going on rides and playing with monkeys and stuff. And then I um, get him to the point where I'm going to blow up the car and I, I tell him that I'm, I'm, I'm going to, off camera, I tell him that I'm about to blow up the car and this has been um, kind of, uh, he's in the middle of a thriller that I've written um, and he, that he may not have known about. And he wasn't upset or anything. He just kind of asked uh, if his wife could watch and... <laughs> He also asked for a bottle of Malibu. <laughs> and did he, were you able to rustle yeah, up yeah. a bottle? Yeah, and, and, and thankfully HBO, I think, <laughs> paid for the uh, bottle of Malibu. <laughs> I, did, I hope they paid reason. for the car too. Did they not? Oh, and they also paid for the car. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was it was a it was a, uh, it, was a it was a duplicate car. Uh, it was a duplicate Volvo. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's so that's... so my so my car is still driving around with. Like breaking down intermittently with the Godfather. With the Godfather horn, yeah. You love like you love as I mentioned, uh, refuse garbage, but also um, uh -huh. you like you love going on the Craigslist free. Um, ads. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's that's an that's a, a, a deep well of inspiration. How often are you on that? Uh, hourly. Hourly, really? Yeah. Because you don't want to miss something. Yeah, because you know it's it's some it's it's always really one of a kind imagery you know that you can't see anywhere else, and I I, I don't know anywhere else where it refreshes that frequently. Yeah, no, um, and you've actually put together. Oh, and I made it. Yeah, and I made a little book of all the screenshots that I took. Um, and here here's here's one that I like. Okay, yeah, I like they get very descriptive in ways, and they usually okay. So this one's two packs of American spirits, uh, lightly used. <laughs> Uh, comes from a smoke-free home and will happily combine into one full pack to ensure easy pickup. I, I, I really liked... Because they, they usually, like, a couch will say from a smoke-free home. That was the first time I saw cigarettes coming from there. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I guess that's why they didn't want them. Um, oh. This is, uh... Oh, what yeah. Uh, we have some... F oh, yeah. 
All the weird pairings, like free movie and dog spray. Um, I don't. Some <laughs> special somebody out there needed the bowl. And then we have one more here. Oh it yeah. Is, uh... um, free Jar Jar Binks suit. Uh, I'm getting married later this month, and my fiance hates it. Uh, well, maybe he shouldn't be getting yeah. married to that woman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, a lot of relationship drama plays out on, on Craigslist, too. Which oh, I, the I, show is, um, I think you've captured the show very well. It is delightful, and it's great to have you here. Yeah, watch all having... three seasons. You'll probably watch them all in one shot of How To with John Wilson is on Max right now. John Wilson, everybody. Thank you, John. And thanks for the Tootsie Roll. We'll be back with Madison Beer.